Yan, um, I'm Shi Mengqi, and we're live for you from Shanghai, where the Asia, the Pet Fair Asia, is now taking place. And for several years now, the fair has been cooperating with the、um, Cat Fanciers Association to organize a, excuse me,、um, to organize a cat show, a world cat show that brings together dozens of cat breeds and hundreds of cats. Not only for display, but also actually for competing. So consider it as、um, a beauty pageant only for cats. And you can probably see here there are a few cat cages, and there are nine cats that entered today's final competition. And、um, and to help, we'll take a tour later to see each of the cat. But、um, Here to help me with that, to to do the、um, explanation is Vivian. Viv Hello. Yeah. If you have watched any of my previous live stream, you know I have this habit of bringing a guest who knows more about the subject matter and also just to interact、um, better. So today, Vivian is well. Vivian is from Shanghai Cat Lover Society. Yeah. Shanghai Cat Lover Society, obviously a cat enthusiast, and. She also has her own cat house, so she'll be here today.、Um, help us understand what cat we're looking at better. So give us, maybe give our audience a brief introduction of yourself. I, I, I will share my experience of my、uh, breeding and showing, and I will introduce these cats to the audience. And then、uh, I hope you love our cats, and、uh, I love my cats for over 20 years, and we will love forever. Okay. Okay, that's a commitment there. Okay. Okay.、Um, so、um, we know that today we have nine cats.、Um, and what are the、um, judging standards? What are the cats competing for? Uh huh. Uh, in CFA, each breed has a, has their own standard.、Uh, different breeds、uh, judges will、uh, judge them from head type, from color, from body, and the tail, and the coat、uh, condition, and then give them points. And they will find the highest score, score cat, and、uh, they will find the champion, and、uh, best of the best, and the second best, third best, that's so on and so on. Okay. So as I understand, there,、um, I'll just briefly set up the scene,、uh, and then we'll go、um, into more detail about the contest and what are the judging standards. So these are the cats that are competing for today's. Contest and the host is now calling for the cat owners to bring their cats into the stage where we have four judges, right?、Uh, three judges. We have three judges、yes. today. One for premiership, one, one for championship, and one for kitten.、Um, these are jargons. Championship is for cats, female and male cats that have not been、uh, spayed or neutered,、uh, uh, not been desex.、Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, for male cats that have not been castrated, or female cats that have not been spayed, spayed meaning the the ovary yeah, yeah, begin taken yeah, out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the、um, fertilizing organs being taken out. This is、um, this is so for cats that are um, um, castrated or ha have their、um, ovaries taken out. These cats are competing for the、um, premiership, right? No, no, no.、Uh, Because from yesterday and the, the day before yesterday, we already have one seventy-eight cats campaign together, and then we choose three cat, three highest cats, highest scoring cats from championship, three from premiership, and three from kitten. And now this is all breed and all classes. These nine cats will get who is the best in show. Right. So,、um, but to. To brief our audience, there are three categories that these cats are、yeah. competing for today, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. There's premiership,、uh, championship, and the kitten. Yeah. yeah, premiership is for cats that have not、um, has, has already de been dissected. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, de and championship is for for cats that、oh, have cat. not. Yeah, yeah they, are, they, <laughs> they keep their entire body. Yeah, and the kitten <laughs>、like、for the cats from four months old to eight months old. Four month to eight month yes, old. Okay,、uh, so the and, and the championship all from eight months old. So yeah, if a kitten is older than eight month old, he's he, he or she is technically no longer a kitten. He's an yeah, adult. Yeah, yeah. Adult, yes.、Uh, championship or premiership. Yeah.、Okay. So, the contest has already started, and oh yeah, all the cats have. 
if we can just take a look into the cage. The products for grooming. This is the eye powder. You sound use for some uh, white persons. Eye grooming powder. Eye powder, yeah, eye powder. For, uh, for like what? Shiny yeah. eyes. In shiny eyes. Sometimes we, they will have tear stains. Oh. Um, okay. This can can cover like people's eyeshadow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm. And you see this uh, small comb. This is for for face. For Only face. for face, <laughs> yes. For face. Just like people for eyebrow. Eyebrow? Yeah. I don't know what is this. Oh, right. This spray. is a spray. This is a kind of spray to make the clothes coat fluffy and looks more smooth, uh, touch texture the better. Here, the thing you've been <laughs> what is this? This is a cat toy. Is this is a cat toy. We made it, for, uh, made it ourselves and we can use it like this. Cat will very love it and play with it. Mm. It's just like babies. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like babies. If you have a very fat cat, you can use this and let them uh, like a gym. <laughs> okay. Perhaps we should move into yes. the, yes, show the contest. Ring. Yeah. Right. We call it show ring. The show the show, show ring. ring. These are all the cages where yes. the cats had been. These shelters, most of them are from America. It's very expensive. Why from America? Uh, because. They are best. Okay. <laughs> okay, we come here. Hello there. So this is number 19. Yes, this is the kitten. This is a brown tabby and white kitten Persian. He's Persian. Yes. He or she is Persian. Yes. Uh, this is he. You see the number card is blue. This is the male. And the okay. pink one is the female. Okay. okay? Hello there. There's also another kitten. This is also another kitten. This is a white person. You see the black on the head? Yeah. Maybe we can move around so the camera could like show our audience the lovely kitten. How do you how do you know it's a kitten? Um how do I know he's a kitten? You just know it. <laughs> I, I just know it. Okay. And because you see the head, I say oh. this is a white. Oh. But you see the head, there are some black coat on it. That is masking color. The head. Okay. On the head, you, you can see, you can see the head. Is, is he saying hello? Yes. He wants to play with you. He wants to play with you. Oh, Kittens the claws are really yeah, yeah, tender. Yeah, 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 the, yeah. So they have been clipped. The claws have been clipped. Yeah, 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 yeah already. This is a white person? This is a white person. And the black is the under, under color. Um, I mean, uh, cats doesn't have white. All the white oh. are masking color. Judge is coming. Okay, judge is coming. So we need to get out of the way. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Let's, let's, so let's, let's get here. professional. Okay. Yeah, and see what the judges are looking for. Yeah. So these are rosettes. These are rosettes. This is the best of the best, and this is the second runner-up. Means second best cat. Okay. So okay. these are the ribbons that, that will be given out today? Yes, for, for these nine cats. Okay. Mm. Mother and baby cat. <laughs> yes, this is uh, from the sponsor and okay. for, for all these winners. So we have how many ribbons today? How many prizes are going to be given out? Uh, we have nine. Nine cats, we have nine uh, rosettes. And uh, these three for these big, these three big rosettes are for the, the one in the middle. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For higher scoring cats in championship, one for higher scoring cat in premiership, and one in one for kitten, okay. best kitten. Yeah. Many sponsors, you see. <laughs> that is cat litter. Okay. And and the yeah the judges are yes, stir sterilizing after here. they clean after they uh, touch each cat they need to clean their hand. Okay. You see, Persians are always the most popular breed mm -hmm. because they are long coats and they are baby face. I love Persian. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> They're just so cute. Uh -huh. so what's, see, the, what's the judge doing now? Um, he used the toy to make the cat stand up just because he wants to see clearly for, of, of this kitten's face. Okay. Want to see the eyes, nose, expression and the head type, you he's touching the forehead. Uh, a, good, a good person needs a very smooth forehead, so he is touch it. 
and sometimes he play with uh, the cat and uh, and let the people know how lovely they are. So yeah, the personality. Yeah, personality. So uh, each cat, uh, three judges need to um, judge them. Uh, and they will talk who is the best. So each one is going to have a yeah, look yeah, at the yeah, same yeah, cat. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Because this is um, a meeting judge. <laughs> so what is she looking for? Like different She's from the. She's looking for the profile. She's now looking for. You see, uh, without coat, a good judge. We can see. Uh, we can hear uh, the audience screaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, because you know a good judge can judge a cat through grooming. Grooming can cover many mistakes on the cat. Mistakes? Yes, because sometimes you see a cat is very nice. Maybe there is a bump on the forehead. Oh. Maybe okay. here the muzzle is not not very smooth. But when they um, without these coats, they will find it. A good judge can find the find the mistakes. Okay. That is what they are judging. So is the judge going to give a comment? Uh, no. Oh, uh, let me see. Uh, they will uh, they will give a comment when they give place. Oh, okay. Give give out the, give out the prize. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they are now taking out the second cat. Yeah. Uh, do you need a seat? Oh, yeah, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Uh, we can actually. Uh, we need to make sure the cameraman gets yeah, the best yeah, yeah. view. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. We need a camera. Sorry. Me. It's really crowded here. This is another kitten. I just told you. This is a brown tabby and a white Persian. Uh, I like this one more. I am a Persian. It's also breeder. Persian, right? Yeah, it's also a Persian, but I like this one more than that one. The fur is elegant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not like only the, the fur. A Persian needs a very elegant pearl coat, but the ear set and the forehead, I think this one is better than that one, especially the muzzle. Persian cannot have a muzzle like this. And this one is a, has a very, very short body. And you see the tabby, tabby on the, on, the, on the body. This is called classic tabby. We have three different kind of tabby in this in color class: uh, classic tabby, macro tabby, and spotted tabby. This is a classic tabby. You see, uh, she's, she, she also uh, touched cat like this, and you can see the cat face is very <laughs> round, right? Yeah, this one is round. rounder, and this one's muzzle is better than that one, I think. Muscle, you mean? Muscle means here, here. And this one has a very good chin. Chin is here. We caught muscle. He, is, he's not is reacting one. as fast, though. Mm -hmm. uh, react? is one of the criteria yeah but not so important yeah for judging Let's mostly see. is from the cat cat <laughs> himself himself so like like a breed standard uh, doesn't have a reactive doesn't have that only have um what do you mean by breed standard breed standard means uh, each breed has uh, one 100 point for example maybe uh, 50, uh, 30 po points on a head, 30 points on a body, and 20 points on a coat, and 20 points on a color. Uh, each each judges will judge the different parts and give them points. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, this cat can have 19 points, maybe. <laughs> 19? 19. 19. Yeah? Okay. That is what I think. So the judges are sterilizing their hands yeah, yeah, again. Yeah. They, they are now uh, going to the third cat. How many Persians do we have today? Persian cats? I think maybe three. All right, so we've already seen two. Oh uh, yeah, and I think uh, oh we have already seen three. We have one in premiership, right? Yeah. Uh huh. In the benching area, and this one is a uh, British short hair. I think this is also a kitten. 
blue British short hair. It's a male as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, blue is the traditional color of British short hair. Uh, what are the um, features of British short hair? Uh, British short hair is a uh, Mm, let me think. Uh, oh. British short hair should hey be there. is a very strong cat, and uh, I could see he is probably more agile. Yeah, like you can see in his on his strong. face. Yes, very strong, muscly. His his head is is also very wrong, <laughs> and he also has Look a wrong reaction. muzzle. You see the you see the mouth. The mouth, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, and very he's strong. A he's, he's not he's not a kitten. Yet an adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still a kitten, and he's very playful. <laughs> yeah, he is very true. And the color, we need pale blue, pale blue. And a cat, you, you see the coat, you see the coat. Um, very thick coat, very dense coat, not too long, and not, not on the skin like this. Uh -huh, must stand up. Uh, coat for British short hair is very important. Uh, maybe I think 40 points on coat. Oh. Yeah. So he's definitely not a docile one. He's very uh -huh. active. Yes, very active cat. Uh, you know, um, in Australia, uh, now the best best British short hair are all in Australia. Oh yeah. Yeah, in Australia. They have uh, the best breeders. Yes, they have the best breeders. They have the best cats. Um, there are different different type of British short hair. Americans. A European and Australia. The Australia is more sweet. You look, the face is very sweet. He has she, he has a very round eyes and eye color is very deep, Cop, deep copper eyes like golden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the color is very distinct. Do you think later when we could go up and and um, yes. check with each judge and yes. ask whether yes. he, what, what he or she yeah, is yeah, asked, yeah, 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 looking yeah. for? Yes. So maybe after he examined the next cat, we uh -huh. could talk to him. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, finally, we have an orange, orange uh, this one. This one is, uh, is an exotic, exotic short hair. Exotic. Short hair Persian. Oh, the last Persian we have today. Um, exotic is a different breed, not Persian. Okay. But we usually call them um, Garfield, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The yeah, movie, yeah. The yeah. Garfield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Garfield. Garfield is a red tabby. This is a cream tabby. Cream is the dilute color of red tabby. Okay. Dilute diluted. color, yeah. Blue is blue is a uh, dilute color of black. Short body, short little tail. It's exactly the same body. We want a flat profile, deep break and then smooth up and over this way, over and across this way. And when I look at the head like this, it should form a perfect circle with the eyes in a straight line right across that head. That's exactly what we're looking for. There you go, a first-hand account of what the judge is looking for. This cat must be very heavy. Okay. So there, he's touching the face. Excuse me, can you tell us what you were looking for earlier? What, what, what we're looking for was the, the shape of the head, the shape of the eyes, the shortness of the nose, strong chin, strong body, short body, short legs, and short tail. So those are the like uh, standards for this breed? Yes, 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 yes it is. Um, plus the, the coat pattern, you can see the stripes, it's a mackerel, mackerel tabby, cream mackerel tabby. Beautiful, beautiful eyes. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous eyes on this cat, cat, the big round, nice copper coloration, very small ears, fitting in the roundest head. It's a wonderful cobby body and short tail and very short legs. Best of his breed? The best of his breed, exotic. Exotic. Yes. Thank you, sir. They're putting the, the cat back into the cage and then go, going on to the next one.
they're there keeping their scores. Oh, this one looks like a dog, actually. Yes, this one is a ragdoll. This one, uh, last season, uh, I think maybe last season, uh, 20, no, no, 2016 to 2017 seasons, best cat, uh, best ragdoll in championship for whole year, national winner, this one. This is a breed winner. I'm going behind the judge. Uh, yeah. Body heavy, heavy boning to him. What I like about him is this really sweet, sweet expression, triangular shape. Beautiful body and boning on him. This has a very beautiful profile, lovely flat top of head. Right, you're looking at the profile. Yes, yes, see here? You can see the profile there? There's a little, just a little dip in the profile. Lovely length of body. Lovely silky coat. We want silky coat on a rag doll. And beautiful eye colour. Yep. So this is to show the audience the cat? Yeah. <laughs> I guess everyone wants to touch yeah, it. And see it, because yeah. you had such an incredible feel to these cats. You can feel can it. Can I? Yes. Wow, very, very soft. Very, very soft and silky. That's very important in this breed. They have this inverted V to their face. You can see it here. Gives oh, them a inverted. little bandit look, like they're little bandits. <laughs> hey, they're bandits. Yeah, beautiful eyes. The incredible blue eyes and the nice feel. And this is called a blue color. We don't have gray cats, we have blue cats and silver cats. So this is our blue coloration. Okay. And the cats have already been, uh, their claws have been already clipped. We cannot cut their th nails off, they are just clipped. We cannot declaw the cats, not even the household pets very important to know. In fact, we don't do anything to the cats except neuter and spay them and put, put them in premiership. We don't physically, surgically alter them at all. We don't clip the ears, we don't crop the tails off, we do nothing of, of that sort. Well, we'll get to talk to the judges more, perhaps after the contest, so, so that we don't really get in the way now. But it's nice to have this first-hand account of what they are looking for. Oh, there. Working Cat of America. This is a recreation of the breeds that came over with the American settlers. It had a job. Its job was to keep the farms free of snakes and mice. Keep, they lived in the fields. It has a hard, hard coat that will protect it from the rain and the snow. We expect to see a broad body, this oval shape to the head. Silver tabby is probably the most popular pattern of the American short hairs, but they come in a variety of colors and patterns. You have a bullseye here, tracings down the side, butterflies on the spine line. I really like his uh, very, very cold silver color, deep, deep black pattern. The other, th um, very noticeable thing about the American short hair is its muzzle. It's a very squared off muzzle, very padded, makes it easy for it to chase its prey. Where's the feather? Uh, maybe. The feather. Here we go. This one is more quiet. Yes, not quite awake yet. Look at that face. Isn't this amazing how much they seem to be cooperating? Well, that is what kidding class is for. These cats have been shown since they're four months old. Before four months old, their owners 
and breeders handle them like show cats. I take at home, I take my little kittens and go, Wee! and we play show kitty with them. So they're used to being handled like this. So, and that's part of prep, either preparation for the show ring or preparation to be a good, confident household pet. So they're familiar with the show biz. Yeah, we don't expect the kittens you know, from four months to eight months old to be as confident as the adults. That's what, kit, that's what kitten class is for. It's training camp for show kitties. Same as humans, they're also looking for confidence. Exactly. It's exactly like that. And you just have to reinforce them. To, you handle them with confidence. That's part of our job as judges. We have to be very confident in handling them so that they know that we know what we're doing. Cool. I love, love, love the color and pattern on that boy. <laughs> Thank you. So, sir, you are looking at the shape, right? Oh, yeah. We, we have a written standard that, that there's a book like this, this thick, that describes every part of the cat. Shape of the eyes, the ear placement, the size of the ears, the length of the nose, strong chin, the length of the body, the length of the legs, absolutely everything, including the coat and the colour. Uh, different cats' colour have different eye colour you know and so on so it's absolutely everything it might look like we're not doing much but we but you are yeah <laughs> yeah so um yeah how long have you been doing this 36 years out of i've been 40. love for mm -hmm. cats oh yeah i wouldn't do it if i didn't love them yeah and where do you come from i'm from australia but I live in Thailand. I just heard from um, Vivian that Australia has the best short hair, American short hair. No, best British. The British best, short best hair. British short hair yeah. And why is that? Oh, I think many, many years ago um, in Australia they imported many of the best British short hair from America, uh, from uh, English, from England. Okay, and um, they've just developed the breed over and over. And a lot of the of a lot of the British here in China have originated from Australian British short hair lines. So, yeah, yeah. But this one is not... This a is a Persian. It's a, it's a long hair one. It's a Persian, sure. yeah. yeah. It's a silver, silver tabby and white. Mm -hmm. Underneath that grey you can see, it ha it's white. Okay, that's, that's why it's called a silver. Okay. But are these um, like um, the mainstream pet cats that people keep? Are they really common? Well, you mean which breeds? Uh, these these well, contestants you know, today. The, the different countries go for different breeds. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. So, uh, like in America, um, the the most common breed in America in our association is Persian, like this. Yes. And you are from the Cat Fanciers Association. Yes yes yes. You're licensed judge through the uh, Cat Fanciers Association in the United States. You're yeah. from the states. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> now I can. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, and I mean, like in Indonesia, yeah. it's Mancun. Um, here, it's really. Oh, is that the, the coffee? Um, the Man Mancun coffee? No, no. no. Mancun <laughs> is a very big, big cat. Big, breed. big cat. Long hair, <laughs> semi long hair. And, and uh, like here, the main breed has been British and American short hair. In China, yeah. What's more popular in the States? Uh, Maine Coons are our second most popular breed, and Persians are our most popular breed. So a lot of people like to have all that hair and grooming and all that. And then a lot of people like the big cats where the Maine Coons. They're our largest. They can weigh as much as 25 pounds. So that's a big cat. It's a big cat. Big cat. What, what do people in America say? Go big or go home? That's right. <laughs> Especially if you're from Texas. <laughs> Texas big hair? You're talking about Texas big hair? Yeah. So a CFA has been around for decades. A hundred. Yes, over a hundred years. We're the oldest cat association in the world. But since when do people largest. start keeping 
cats as pets? Uh, over a hundred years ago. Okay, so not too long. Well, no, they've been pets forever, but our association okay. of showing pedigree cats. And we're, uh, yeah, they're trying to, yeah. He'll be back with us, I hope. So we have one, two. This will be a lit dog. What Douglas is bringing out now is a lit, I just, I just did it, yep. Is a Lynx Point rag doll. The Lynx Point refers to the tabby pattern on the face when he turns around. You'll see that instead of it being solid color like this blue was, it's a tabby pattern. Rag dolls are genetically pointed cats with a white um, spotting factor overlaying that. That's what you're seeing on the legs and that inverted V. It's a white spotting factor. With that pointed gene also comes those blue eyes. Every pointed cat has blue eyes. That's why the Siamese have blue eyes, the Burmans, the rag dolls. That's all part of that thermal gene. I'm going to ask a question as a layman. Like, what, um, what is the purpose of such a show? Part, we're doing several things. Really, the main purpose of a cat show is to, for us to give feedback to the breeders about the cats that they present to us. Mm -hmm. We're comparing them against the standard. We are actually determining their breeding programs by saying, yes, this conforms and this is a very nice example of the breed, or saying, this, is, this has this fault, this fault, and you should think again about putting it into your, judge, into your breeding program. This cat has a very distinct color, eye color. Yes, yes. You see, this, this is the blue eyes that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. And you see it with this one. Same cat, same breed. See the blue eyes on him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the color. Oh, the blue. Isn't that amazing? But that comes with that pointed pattern. So it's your term up? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you've just finished? Yes. Okay, so um, I was just asking the lady there, um, what is the purpose of such a, a, a show and a judge in it? And she said it's to get feedback to breeders yes. so that you could probably like, um, so you could breed cats that are the best in yes. this breed? Yes. Uh -huh. It's also, uh, it's a hobby. and. People come there on the weekend and they socialize with their friends. They have a common interest, so that's cats. And so it's a very social thing. Not only the competition, but everybody likes to win, you know, but sometimes you just like to go and spend a weekend with your friends, go to dinner, that kind of thing. So I made a lot of friends in the cat fancy throughout the 33 years that I've been in it. Yeah. So. A common identity as cat lover. Right, right. So you have that, that commonality of being a cat lover and then 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 people in your breed the love your breed and and it's so it's a very very a social thing and it's also growing more popular i guess cat has a um people who like it ha because cat has a distinct personality right, for right, being right. independent right very independent some of them but a lot of them are very dog like they you know they like to follow you around the house and right. sit on your lap and and um, have fun, you know. Yeah, yeah. But that's um, that's why the fascination with the cats, and it's also growing more popular in China. Like last year, um, uh, well, the pet industry as a whole, as well. Last year, in 2017, we had over 20 billion U.S. dollars in the cons consumer market, and I think that's our last cat here. Yes, it is. Yes, this is another silver tabby. Again, same pattern as the tabby that was in championship. You look. But this one's in premiership? This, one's, this is in premiership. We've art, the first three cats that we saw were our kittens. Now, if you look at his pattern, it's not as distinct as the first one we saw. So that's a bit of a pattern fault, in my opinion. You he's very little, active. active. Yes. And he's got a very nice head. Again, you see that very... <laughs> yeah, there's a good shot. <laughs> yes, he can hunt he very, he can hunt very, very well. 
and as I remember from judging him yesterday, he has a very hard coat that would repel rain and snow and, the, and the, all the underbrush that if they were in the wild, they would get to. Now, of course, none of these cats have ever seen the wild. They stay inside. Oh, that's, that's one question I've been curious about. Mm -hmm. um, so what makes us think the cats will be better off than like being domesticated mm -hmm. than being just in the wild? Well, there's a lot fewer things inside the house that can harm them. There aren't any snakes or owls or prey that could potentially harm them. There's no poison. They're in a busy city like this. There aren't any trucks or cars that they would get uh, run over. CFA's position is that your pet cat is safer inside. In rural parts of the country, especially in America, you may have cats that really are working cats. Okay. They really do have a job to do. But for like catching most, mouses? Like <laughs> catching mouse. Yeah, exactly like that. But for most pet owners, right. they're there you their go. job. Sorry. No worries. Yeah. Thank you for doing all this explanation. What do you love about cats? Oh, I love that. I love the personality of cats. I bred uh, Japanese bobtails. They're the the uh, natural breed from China. I mean Japan, and they're a very personable cat. Very sweet, loving cats. They like to be on you all the time, and that's what I like. And they, they were very, they're very dog-like because they follow me around the house. And, and they're different. But they're different, and everyone has a different kind of personality. So. You know, cats can be as different as people. You know, that they, they have own, own, own personality. So, and the whole business, uh, the industry is growing. Like the pet China, is like it's like exploded. It's it's in our organization, 60% of the income now is from China. So it's a huge, huge market here. It's still growing though. Oh, it's still growing big time here in China, and there are more and more shows. When I first started. It was like one show a weekend in China. Now they're like four or five every weekend. So it's really become a very popular thing here in China. Are there like local breeds from China? There's, um, we had one, but it wasn't, didn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's still long it's, st it's still developing. Yeah. So there's not really breeding, a. Breeding, what does breeding need? Well, you have to have a, well, you have to have uh, two very good cats to put together. And it means, you know, and then you try things like um, different, putting two other cats together, see what you develop, you know, you see how the cats develop. So it's getting pedigrees, it's getting uh, very important for the cats to, to, you know, it's more, it's more difficult than you think yeah. to breed a good cat. And maybe you'll have one cat out of 10 that's really a show quality. And the rest of them are not that. Do you have to go back to scoring? Yes. Okay, okay. I'll leave Thank you to you. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. And now we'll leave the judges to their job and we'll go back to Vivian. Hi, Vivian. Yes. Hi. Um, can you show us? Um, so let's come back here. It's, it's, okay. it's just lying there, like idling. Hey there. Hello. Oh, yeah. He's following your, your yes. toy. You see, very silly. So you have a cat house yourself, right? Yeah. What kind of cats do you keep? Uh, Persians and exotics. Mostly Persian. Can we can, can you show us one? Do you have them here? Yes, I have one uh, in in that area. Mm -hmm. I can show you. Yeah. Yes. So uh, yeah, let's yeah, move let's around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Our cameraman has a little problem with the movement here. <laughs> Let's get him through this. And you can see, yeah, it's this narrow space we're trying to get through. <laughs> okay, careful there. We're now going to fetch one of Vivian's cats. And we'll have a little chat around, sitting around, and have some cat talk. <laughs> So, how old is your cat? Oh, oh, be careful. Yeah, we have, you can see there are chairs all around. It was really crowded this place yesterday. Uh, my cat uh, is one year old. One year old. Yeah. An adult now? Is it a he or she? 
<laughs> and this whole place was like super packed yesterday because people were all here. There were 178 cats yesterday competing and <laughs> there was a crowded audience. Here. There we go. Do you want to play with him? Can I? <laughs> yes, of course. He wouldn't. He's not afraid of strangers. No, he's not afraid. He's not afraid. Does he have a name? Uh, his name is very interesting. His name is Ao Bai. Ao Bai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a Chinese character from yeah. our novel. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. Um, because um, you know a movie Zhou Xingqi. Yeah. Yes, in that movie there is uh, Ao Bai, a uh, very Big, 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 big uh, hair here. Yes, and when he was a teenager, very young, he has very long coats on his collar. So we call him Ao Bai. Apart from the look, is there yes. also a reason yes. because of the personality? Yes, yeah, not, not personality. No. He is very friendly. He is very good boy. Because Ao Bai is like uh, this uh, yeah, yeah, villain well. and fighter yeah, in this yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 just the look, just because the look. Just because of the look, but yeah. he's actually very soft. Yes, very, very soft. Gentle. Yes, yesterday I brought him to the uh, uh, seminar and everybody loves him. Uh, I think uh, other breeds, you cannot hold him so long. Like mm, yes, every cat like this. You can try. <laughs> very comfortable. How many, how many cats do you have in your cat house? Uh, in my category, maybe 40 adults and uh, 20 or 30 kittens. Do you breed? Yes, I breed. I breed Persians. And my Persians was the best of breed in China last year. Oh, wow. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Like, but at what rate do, do the cats grow? Like, um, how many new born babies do you have each year uh, new we kittens don't, we don't breed more uh, each each female maybe once a year uh, sometimes uh, you know uh, pedigree cats uh, it's very difficult to breed uh, maybe uh, one year they only have one chance to breed or maybe two years sometimes you find a female maybe three years old he just start calling yeah very so difficult. it is more like humans now because yes. in yeah, yeah, yeah. Develop, <laughs> developed countries or yes. in like urban areas, people yes. are more and more reluctant to, to give birth. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yes. Um, I like, per I like cats, but breeding is more uh, sometimes heartbreaking. Sometimes heartbreaking. When you see a kitten is ill, but you cannot rescue him, it is heartbreaking. And you know, in China, <laughs> The vet is not so um, professional. Sometimes we use our experience to help them, but uh, sometimes we all don't know why they are, they feel uncomfortable. And you can see the cat keep we um, more and more weak, and then soon they pass away. That is heartbreaking. So sometimes I will think maybe it's it's not my job. Mm. So right, you have been. I heard that partnering with this uh, CFA and this um, event. Yes. So you've been co-organizing it. Yes. Um, for about six years. Yes, this is the sixth year. So, and we all know that the pet industry, as we talked earlier yeah. um, with the judges, as I was talking with them, the pet industry in China is exploding. Yeah. We have in 2017 the um, consumer market reached. Um, the consumption reached 20 billion U.S. dollars, and it's a 10 percent, and 10 a 10 percent increase from the year before, mm -hmm. and it's estimated to grow 30 percent more by the year 2020. Mm -hmm. So, like you've you're part of this, and yes. you've seen you've been to this fair yeah. and and have been organizing this event yes. for quite a few years now. So, yeah. is there any changes you've been observing, like? Like, is there more visitors? Uh -huh. I can tell you the whole changing from the very, very beginning. Starting from? Starting from 2005. Okay. Yes, because I did my first cat show in 2005. It was in Sogo, uh -huh, in a shopping mall. 
That is the first CFA show in Shanghai, and we in only have two rings. Two rings means two judges. At that time, we have 155 cats to come for the show, but most of them are novice cats. They didn't register. No, from, from China? From China, yes. You know, uh, at that time, many cats import from Russian, some other countries, um, but they don't have pedigree like... Uh, what, what do you mean by pedigree? Pedigree means their certificate, their ID. Each cat has an ID. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We can know. We can find their. Uh, we can find their pedigree uh, for many, many, many generations. Maybe in CFA we can find a cat 100 pedigree. Yeah. It's a long. It's, it's a very, very big number. Uh, at that time, most of our most of our cats are not registered. Maybe uh, around one in 100 cats. Maybe. And excuse me. Where? Who do they register with? Like CFA. With this cat, with this association. We're hearing from the speaker. Um, apologies if it's interfering with our talk here. Uh, we're hearing from the speaker. The judges are announcing the results. The judges are announcing the results. Yes, yes yeah. announcing the result. Now the eighth best cat uh, is the American short hair. Yeah. yeah, but for me, they're all brilliant. So, Shall we move it? Yeah. Can I hold it? Oh, yes, okay. Like, like, hold. like, like yes. this? Yes. Yes, okay, go. Like a baby? Yes, like a baby. <laughs> yeah, let's move around a bit because we were, we were having too much noise coming from the speaker. Maybe here? Yeah, just here. Hi, Boal. So, um, what about just the general picture instead of um, cat shows? I mean, just a general picture of how how the cat lover community in China has grown. Mm, uh, we have uh, this kind of uh, association or clubs since 2003, but at that time, few people knows pedigree cats. Um, when we uh, after we start doing cat shows, and then uh, at very first time we once a year only, and now maybe each week we can find some cat shows, uh, different clubs, um, different cat clubs organize these cat shows. Is it expensive to keep a cat? Like, um, is it affordable? I I read a research um, report that nowadays people who keep pets, especially cats, yeah. um, the user profile is much younger, so yes. probably people born in the 80s or 90s, yes. they are like 70% of the whole yes. um, um, pet owner. Yes, yes. So, I think because why? it is, it is um, fast food culture, made, made the cats more popular, because you know um, dogs are very very difficult because you have to stay with them and uh, you have to uh, make the, let them go out each day, twice a day. Uh -huh. Oh, bye bye. Okay, 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 okay. But cats is different. They are quiet. They are not not that trouble. So it's easier to keep. Yes, very easy. And uh, if you have one cat at home, maybe only he can find you. You cannot find him. Yes, he can hide himself in a there maybe a dark place. Maybe uh, he is really quiet. Yes, very. I quiet. like I like holding him. Yes, especially Persian. Um, different breeds, different different kind of. Different kind of cats. I so yeah, I actually have been considering keeping a, a pet, be but because of my job, I have to travel a lot, so it's really not practical. But is it affordable nowadays to keep a a, a, a cat? Mm -hmm. Like this, how much would it cost? How much would it cost? If you uh, if you want to buy a cat, maybe around ten thousand RMB. It's a maybe uh, it's a D6 cat, just for pet. Uh, if you want a high quality cat, maybe 30,000 RMB to uh, 8,000 RMB. If you want a grand champion or national winner, uh, higher. 
So what are people, what are the Chinese people going for these days? Internet. They were finally on internet. Mm -hmm. And usually they, they go for the pet cats, right? Yes, most people go for cats. cats. Only breeding people want high quality. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, we know that apart from like buying the cat, you also need to buy him a house, buy him uh, the food, yes. and yes. medical care, cat which also costs. Cat people always spend a lot of money on cats. They never think about money. Never. A little impatient. <laughs> he wants to move, probably. No, no, no. Yeah. Like this. You, you, should, you should hold here. OK. Hold here. Yeah. Yeah. So he, I guess he wasn't that comfortable. Oh. <laughs> he can understand. Yeah. He can understand. I'm not happy, but he's unhappy. <laughs> yes, you see this one? <laughs> Um, how many cats do you have, like at home? I said forty. But that's your cat house. Oh, but that's that is my home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Um. You know, when I sleep, uh, I maybe have seven or eight cats on my bed. Uh, they want to sleep on my pillow, on my chest, and uh, they want to want my hands hold them. Yeah. You're the queen of cats. Yes. <laughs> Uh, they are my queen and the king. <laughs> um, is there a reason for this kind of fascination for cats? Like people, people, especially young people, call themselves slaves to cats. Yeah. Yes. And why is that? Um, that is the difference uh, between cats. It's because of the cat's personality, they are like they are yeah, the like, queenly yeah, 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 and, yeah, yeah, and kingly. Yes, and, and yes, yes. But and why we do are the slave? We are the slave, and we love to be a slave. What gives you the joy? Yeah, uh, you see now he lay on here. You will feel very calm, and he you will feel he wants you. He needs you. Okay, so mm. it's it's about be, like being needed. Yes, the feeling of being needed. Yes, yes, because he will feel very safe on your shoulder, and uh, that makes me very happy and very comfortable. Um, could it also be sort of um, because solitude is more common these days? People um, live either it's old people or yeah. young people living by themselves. Yes, That's yes. why it's they feel lonely. growing more popular in yes. China. Yes, yes, I think so. Yes, I think people need them. You see, you see, he hide his head here just because he said, "I am boring. What are you doing? I want to sleep. I want to hide myself." I know here you're safe. Here you're safe. So he wants to hide his head into my body. <laughs> okay, so, so for people like first time buyers of pets, what's your suggestion to them? What, suggestion what should they is, be looking um, at? Go to some catteries, uh, some nice pet shops. Uh, don't go to those um, small shops or those looks not so clean. And the healthy is the most important thing. Uh, let them, let the, let the, let the cannery or let the uh, pet shop show you their rabies, uh, not rabies, vaccination shot record, and uh, let them go to check the health. Maybe do some blood checking and promise they are healthy. And especially, I think it should be make a contract. Right. Yeah. So I guess most important of all is to treat him or her as part of the family. Yes as an important company and yes. really care for him or yes. her. Uh, mm, yes, yes. Yeah. I always see them as my sons and my daughters. <laughs> I have a lot. <laughs> Isn't that so lovely? Super mama. <laughs> super mama, thank yeah. you. Well, I guess that will conclude our live stream today. I hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And I hope that you've also learned a l more about cats, the different breeds, yeah. and what what you should really be doing, um, like what you should do to care, yeah. to better care him mm -hmm. or her. Yeah, yeah. Right, so, and the cats competing for the contest are now also returning. Yeah. Maybe we'll do a, a, a brief yeah. cruise and then we'll, we'll leave you admiring the elegant cats who have now become the queens and kings of our society. <laughs> Third, third best thing show this cat.
surprise. And this one is his rosette for highest scoring cat in premiership. Hello, boy. You are third best. Yeah, we'll leave you admiring by yourself the beauty of the cat. And with that, we'll conclude our live stream today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. <Vivian. laughs> Thank you.